What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So the ROG Ally got a BIOS update from 336 to 337 and a GPU driver update as well. But these are fairly minor and just kind of like a bug fix or two it would appear. But I always like to go in and check out performance anyways to see if there are any differences. Now if you haven't updated already, you can go into my ASUS here on your desktop. Go over to system update and you can scan for updates and they should show up. Mine's blank because I've already done them. So I'll go over here to update history. Now, if I click on here, we'll see that I have the two done. Now I'm updated to 8001 on the graphics driver and version 337 on the BIOS. Previously, I was on 336 with GPU driver ending in 6003 here. So I went ahead and got us some comparison footage for before and after, and we'll take a look at that. But before that, I do want to mention the lossless scaling app from Steam. You might see some Helldivers footage in this video, and it's going to show a little bit lower base performance here, but basically doubling the frame rate. And with its newest update, really feeling great here on the Ally that way. So if you want to check out that video, there is one here on the channel. All right, so getting into these comparisons, we're going to start off with Cyberpunk. And this game actually sees a fairly decent jump in performance. I mean, we're not talking anything major, but you never know with these little tweaks that they throw out and bug fixes what it might affect. Now, overall, it would be just a little bit cleaner frame times here with 337 and the newer GPU driver versus the older one. And also just a little bit higher on our FPS just overall as we went through. I did notice sometimes being up to like 2-3 FPS difference. So this was actually much more stable on this newer update when it comes to running Cyberpunk in this benchmark for a good comparison here. And if we go side by side, you'll see 42.94 versus 44.58 and the overall scores throughout there. It's not that it's a big deal, uh, certainly, but it was in interesting to see. Now, Mortal Kombat is a little bit, uh, yeah, it's kind of more or less the same performance. It, the frame times definitely were a little bit cleaner throughout some of the areas, but as far as the FPS, it was really back and forth between the two versions. And I check this uh, benchmark out often every time there's a change on the ally. And this game does usually get affected in some way or another. But anyways, as for FPS, 45 versus 44, really negligible. There wasn't usually much difference. I run all these benchmarks three times, pretty much got the same thing. So other than some cleaner frame times, basically same thing. Now jumping over into Skull and Bones, one of the newer Ubisoft games out, and you know how their optimization can be, but this game actually runs pretty well either way, and I was curious to see if there would be any difference, like maybe Cyberpunk or anything like that, but pretty much like frame times, frame rate, all of that, uh, very similar, clock speeds, all of that, uh, very similar. I did notice some Mortal Kombat, we had lower clock speeds a lot of the time for the newer update, which was interesting um, as well. But yeah, pretty much similar performance here on Skull and Bones uh, for the two running 336 verse the 337 here. And this benchmark can actually vary because the ships and stuff aren't always in the same place or doing the same thing. But 50 verse 49, again, kind of negligible, similar to Mortal Kombat 1. Okay, so the next game we're going to take a look at is Sports of Motorsport. And remember I mentioned the clock speeds. Now, I ran this benchmark four, maybe five times and could never get the clocks for the GPU to go up on the new BIOS version here as to where we would always get up to the 1800, 2000 megahertz on the older one. So we did get better performance. And I've seen this before when we've had these updates back and forth with ASUS here on the Ally with the BIOS and GPU drivers. It kind of swaps back and forth and sometimes we get a weird thing with the clocks only on certain games. Obviously, that didn't happen to all four of these games. Games, but it's something to mention and that's why this particular game gets worse performance so always there's kind of a step back sometimes when we get step forwards with bug fixes and things like that you got to start checking all the games because it can be affected all right guys that's pretty much going to wrap it up just a quick look i always like to see what those benchmarks are doing in a few games when we get those updates and uh i love seeing um, ASUS continue to work on the ROG Ally and smooth things out. I do wish everything was always a move forward in performance, but sometimes we do take some step backs as well. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one.